Now to delete the OLE object, again, all I have to do is select it and delete it. There's no record of it. So again, if I type in my XREF, there's no record of it. Okay, so it's not going to stay in my file, like for example, my data link manager, or my data link that I link through the data link manager, which you'll see that I still haven't removed or deleted from the file. Okay, um, so now what I want to do is I want to show you one last concept, and that's basically um, inserting raster images, okay, and inserting images um, technically into AutoCAD. Now, yes, you can copy them and you can paste them in, and basically they're treated like an OLE object, but what you can do is you can actually maintain a link between images so that if you're working, you know, uh, let's say, you know, for example, on the cover sheet, a lot of people will want to include an image of what their project looks like as a nice little introduction to their drawing set. So what they will do is often they will um, insert a raster image, okay? And if it ever needs to get changed, all they have to do is change the original file, and then every time it saves, it'll update this image that's xref in there. Now I say xref because that's how we insert these images, is by xrefing them in. So if I go back to my xref manager, okay, command again is xref, and you'll see that up at the top, Okay, the default is to attach a DWG file, which is a drawing file. Okay, what I can actually do is if I uh, expand that list, I can attach different types of files. Okay, and you'll see that you can attach a PDF. Again, PDFs might come in blurry, um, and images might come in blurry. Okay, I find that actually um, when I start to work with images that are TIFFs or bitmaps or anything like that, I mean, even some JPEGs, um, I tend to find that they'll come in blurry, okay? Um, what I usually do is, uh, yeah, you know, I work in Photoshop a lot, and I'll save as a JPEG and I'll bring it in, but I'll find that the quality is not really there, okay? So what I do, and it's kind of a very strange and bizarre way, but for some reason it works, is that I'll go into MS Paint, okay, which is this really kind of um, really you know, primitive painting program that always comes in with uh, PCs. And what I'll do is I'll save it as a JPEG in here, and then I'll insert it as, uh, attach it as a raster image, and it seems to work. Okay, I don't know what the difference is between a Photoshop JPEG and a paint JPEG is, um, but for some reason that's always worked for me. Okay, um, so if you ever find that your, you know, your images aren't just, you know, they're not turning out right, then what I would do is I would go back into paint, resave them as a JPEG and try it again. And usually that sorts it out for me. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to attach an image. Okay, so I'm going to go to attach image and I'm going to find an image of uh, a picture to use. Okay, so if you haven't seen this guy before, okay, and I'm just going to attach him here. This is my dog, Bishop which you may or may not have seen um, in the introduction to, you know, and in various points with the videos, but here this is what he basically does all day is sleep. Um, but he's a very cute little guy. So anyways, he doesn't know this, he's in the other room, so I'm going to use him as an example for this, okay? So basically what I did is I attached my image, okay, I went and found it, and you'll see that it's just like um, all of the uh, other options with the XREFs. So what I did is I just, you know, automatically um, just click to insert it, and then you can scale it um, as need be, okay, and uh, insert the picture this way, okay? Now, um, what I want to do is I want to sh show you that it's actually linked, okay? So I have this picture of him, you know, doesn't look too crazy, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file, Okay, and I'm going to open up the picture of him in uh, Paint. Sorry, open. Okay, so here we go. Here is our picture of Bishop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know how well that's going to show up. I'm going to add a little mustache to him. Oops, that's not thick enough. Okay, again, it's paint, so it's not the most sophisticated program there is. 
but I'm just going to sit here and draw pictures on him. Oops, let's do it this way. Okay. Great, lovely. Okay, and I'm going to save it. Um, now, what it's going to do is it's going to tell me that this is a sharing violation. So what that means is that basically the way that AutoCAD works with raster images is that when we, you know, even though, yes, it's kind of like a, an XREF, um, and we can update our XREFs and still have the file open, okay? With raster images, we can't. So I have to close out of this, and I have to save my image, okay? And now I'm going to open my file again. And now you'll see that it takes those updates. Okay, so it's very, very helpful, um, you know, in being able to set an image there and then being able to work on it external to the program and having it always be updated. So that's what these uh, tasks are for: is to allow other, um, you know, programs and other types of programs to be used with AutoCAD in this way.